So it's almost been a year since Trilogy Media released the worst catch in Predator on YouTube and since then it's blown up in their face and got negative feedback and Ashton has handled the criticism very, very poorly that he decided to post on his Trilogy Plus channel uh, website, Stupid Bullshit, where he attacks the people who give them construction cynicism. Since then, I have been harassed on my YouTube channel and my personal Facebook and has some negative things said about me on his Stupid Bullshit video on the Trilogy Plus channel. And I'm going to go ahead and read one by one comments said about me at the uh, in the videos that I've gotten in my spam request, uh, my spam messages, and my and uh, what's been said on my Trilogy Media Plus uh, Plus Super Bullshit video, and I am going to respond to them. I'm going to respond to the hateful comments and the toxic fan base that they have over Trilogy Media. Now I'm going to take proper precaution. And I will be turning off the like-dislike ratio. I will be disabling the comments. You do not have permission to use this video under any circumstances. If you do, I'll be sending you a cease and a sis. So without further ado, let's jump right into Trilogy Media's Toxic Fan Base. So before I jump into these comments, I wanted to give a little backstory about why I am standing up for myself for these Trilogy Media hateful comments and their toxic fan base. So about at the end of 2019, I gave them construction criticism on their Facebook squad member page saying it was unfair that they gave prizes away to the same three people and it should have been fair to do it for each person to be fair. Since then, that video that's been taken down, I was been banned from the Trilogy Media Squad Facebook page. I've been accused of being a bully. I've been considered a harasser. I've been attacked, verbally attacked uh, all over my Facebook, all over my Facebook, face personal Facebook, saying I, uh, I'm nothing but an ungrateful punk who's begging for money. I had been told I'd be good face legal trouble for lying when I wasn't and just attacked by the same three people over and over again and I decided to make the video in 2021 why I've not why I've stopped no longer support them why I believe they have the most toxic fan base on YouTube and then I told myself I would not make a trilogy media video again and then I saw that they got a negative feedback in the predator first ever catching predator video which like I said in the video beginning I think it's the, probably the worst catching predator video I've seen on YouTube and I got made that video at the end of last year, and it's got positive feedback. And then I did a one month update. It's got some mixed reception. Hi, like I've been, uh, but I mostly deleted the comments that verbally attacked me on the videos and all that. But I have screenshotted some video, some pictures on um, the stupid bullshit uh, video on Trilogy Plus's website, which. Luckily, I don't have to pay a subscription and all that, so I can able to read the comments. I'll be reading the screenshots of what's been said about me and threats and all that. So I'm going to go one by one and respond to them and see what they've been said. So before I wanted to jump into the negative comments that have been said about me, I wanted to read some of the positive comments that people have left that I've decided to leave on the uh, Jelly Media Predators. I just wanted to read some of the positive ones and respond to them. Uh, respond to the positive ones before I jump into the negative ones because I need some positivity before the negativity. So let's just read some of the positive ones that have been said uh, on my videos that people have come to. I'm going to go ahead and read this one first because this is my favorite comment that's been said. Uh, it says, you're completely right about their fan base being toxic, especially the members who have channel badges next to their name. There's a comment where a lady on the community post says, don't listen to them because the haters either have no videos or gaming videos. I'm finally glad somebody agrees with me on how toxic their fan base really is because every time I try to say anything or try to say how toxic they are, I was verbally attacked saying how I was wrong in Trilogy Media's fan base. Their squad members are the best fan base you can find on YouTube, which I believe that the Trilogy Media squad's fan base is way worse than the Nintendo fan base and the Sonic and Hedgehog fan base combined. This one says, I was an OG subscriber of Trilogy Media since 2018 and I liked the creative content back then, but ever since they moved into their office, their content is not so creative like before and I've noticed the attitude Ash has been getting art in some live streams. Most people don't seem to realize this, but I was an OG supporter of Trilogy Media back in early 2017 up until 2019. I, they started making these videos uh, when I first started college back in 2017 and I thought they were one of the best up and coming YouTubers and I knew they were going to do big and greater things, but since they... They got to their ego. Ashton thinks he's this big, tough badass since he lives in Los Angeles and has a million subscribers on his YouTube channel. He thinks he can do whatever the fuck he wants with no consequence, and that's what pisses me off. Here's another good one. It says, I really enjoyed scam baiting content and somehow heard of Trilogy Media. I wasn't impressed. The way they talk to their victims is absurd. These are usually older people who don't even understand the scam, and they're getting yelled at by these strangers that's so wrong. I didn't really get stirring into their, um... Scam baiting stuff until they really did like scammer grammar and doing uh, re talking to scammers on the phone through movie quotes and songs like that. 
Uh, the only reason I watched them is because um, they were actually actors down in California who had been in really popular shows and all that had minor roles. And I'm like, reached out to them and said, hey, I'm from so-and-so, Arkansas. Uh, I'm trying to make it a, become an actor. I'm attending college to be doing a theater major. And they're like, hey, let's let you know. If you ever come out to California, let us know. We'll, we'll show you the robes, give you advice and tips. And maybe we can work something to give you a scene and over a Skype call or whatever like that. Just I'll we'll let you know for sure. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I started getting into their stuff with uh, the Scammer Grammar and uh, Scam Jams where they were talking to scammers using song quotes or using song lyrics and movie quotes and stuff like that. And I thought that was really interesting because that's something like that's never been done before on YouTube. And it was really great improv and stuff like that. Here's the last positive comment I'm going to read. It says, well said, I've been a fan of Trilogy Media for a long time, but I've noticed Ashton is a prick. The more popular they gain, the worse he's getting. Not only it w was it a terrible way he treated the wife, but was, I was downfounded by the way he spoke to the police. I've noticed that they have been really rude to the police to the police every time they have where they have been encur encountered the police before and it's just really dumb the way they treat the police you know there's some people who are out there who thinks all cops are bastards and they all need to be executed and there's no good cops out there and all that uh some people don't realize that uh they can't do anything unless they get to jail and they have evidence and stuff like that and another thing I did want to point out in the last comment about how Ashton always has an attitude with people. There was a video from 2020 where they were at the post office or some post office. And the worker there, only worker there, was probably about a 60, 70 year old man. Uh, art starts going 90 and up and saying, hey, we're YouTubers and uh, we have scams and blah, blah, blah. Going 90 and up where you can understand them. You need to call the police and stuff like that. The old man said, yeah, I'll call the police for sure. Give me a minute and I'll get the number up. I got you covered. So he, the old man calls the police and he literally tells the police, I have two gentlemen here that harassed me. And next thing you know, Ashton goes up, we're not harassing you. You're not aware that you have a scammer and blah, blah, blah. Because the guy, that this guy is 60, 70, something years old and has no idea what the fuck's going on when you have a Russian man going 90 to nothing like that. And, um, and a lot of people saying that, oh, he's in on the scam and all that. And I'm like, hey, don't make assumptions if you think, unless you think, unless it's true. Unless the old man comes down on the comment section and he was like, yeah, I'm in the comp. Yeah, I'm scamming. I'm a part of the scam. I want these people out of my post office and stuff like that. But I highly doubt it because there's a lot more old people out there who got scammed than become scammers. And another, if you watch later in the video, Ashton is very, very rude to this Asian lady who works at the, another post office. And he's sarcastic calling her hon and lady. The lady's already suspicious because they took a computer, uh, put the phone charger in the computer and blocked, doing some stuff. And then she got a suspicious to kick them out. They refused to leave and stuff like that. It was very, very, another poor, professionally, poor, poorly professional handle, handily. But it's not as bad as the Predator video you saw last year. All right, enough of the positive comments. As much as I want to say, uh, first off, thank you to all the positive comments who gave me positive feedback on Trilogy Media's video. I know I didn't get much, but I just want to give some uh, thank you to the people who left me positive comments and stuff like that. Now it's time to read the negative comments that have been sent on Trilogy's Plus Stupid Bullshit video. Now, this is my opinion. You're going to roast, if I've, I probably have people who've said roast me, I'm going to probably roast them the fuck back and respond to these, obviously. And I uh, keep in mind that I have poor social skills and I'm not as like an improv actor like Ashton. I've done acting stuff before and I can't do, I can't imagine improv like the back, improv like the dead. Cause you can see I'm trying to, st I'm stuttering right, right now, but I'm going to try my best to read these comments and respond to them as best I can. No, I'm not a professional actor. No, I don't come up with these roasts off the bat, but some of them may be smart. Some of them may be dumb, but I'm going to respond to them. And if they get mad, I don't give a fuck. Let's jump right into it. Now if I hurt your feelings. But what I say, fuck you, because I don't give a shit. So I'm going to go ahead and read this big one off the back. The first paragraph is talking about somebody named GF or somebody who got who thought two people believed Chili Jimmy was scamming them. And I'll go back into this one. But if you go to the second comment, it said, let me add something about Wildboy5699. Uh, for someone who has a, who seems to have a high problem with high donators, look at him in just his past videos. He sure loves going to those band tours. Any games, by the way. Okay, first off, I want to ask, number one, why does it matter what type of content I make? There are people who have made a living off gaming videos. There are people who have made the same type of videos I have and have exploded and have done really, really well. Yes, I don't make the best type of quality videos. Yes, I make gaming videos from time to time. And so why does it con concern you that this channel, who has over a million subscribers, is making these types of videos and getting positive feedback while I'm just a YouTuber who's doing this for fun? make gaming videos because those are people who made gaming videos who do gaming videos and do that for a living and also for your response to me spending a lot of money on contra tours 
versus the people who are sending high donations. Number one, it's none of your concern about what I spend my money on. Yes, I say, I, I admit it, I spend a lot of money on concert tickets, but that's something I enjoy. That's what I love to do. And if you like to spend, if you like to give YouTube viewers five hundred thousand of dollars just to give them, then that hey, if you like that too, that's all that matters. But what I like to do is go to concerts. What I like to do is go to Comic Con. That's something I have interest in. I'm sure many people out there have the same interest of spending VIP tickets on whoever, VIP tickets on Comic Con, paying for autographs and stuff like that. That's what I like to do, and it's none of your concern what I spend my money on. If I spend this type of money on concert tickets, if I spend this type of money on Comic Cons, and you want to spend your money giving hundreds of dollars to YouTube channels who already have enough money to begin with, then that's your problem, that's my problem. You spend your money how you want to spend your money, and I'll spend my money how you want to spend your money. I said that wrong. You spend your money how you want to spend your money, and I'll spend my money however I want to spend it. This one makes me chuckle. It says, how in the world do you be a professional while catching a predator? That sounds dumb as fuck. Have you watched The Catch a Predator? Have you watched Hanses vs. Predator? Have you watched any of Chris Hansen's stuff? If Chris Hansen does it professionally, these wannabe YouTubers who want to catch predators, they are hateful right off the bat. They are yelling at these people. They are calling them scums, which, yes, they are scums. Predators are scums and deserve to be in jail. But you can go do it a professional, calm way, because I've seen it be done. Chris Hansen knows how to do it. Chris Hansen can make somebody sit down, can make a predator sit down at the table and admit what they're doing wrong. If you walk up to a predator and start screaming in their face, chances are they're going to scream right in your face back. Logic. This one's not true. It says whether $1.49 or $500, they always thank you very much and point up to you, point up to thank you while on the phone trying to hold a con sensation with scammers always. Thankful, much gratitude, Ashton and Art and team and family. That is not completely true, because back in 2018, I sent Trilogy Media $25 through a super chat on one of their live stage, and they didn't even fucking say thank you or acknowledge it or nothing, because they had a $500 donation right as soon as I sent that donation. So, and I thought, what the hell? And I'm like, you say, you see that $500 no sheesh, but you can't see the $25 from a paycheck that I just got? And I sent, and I sent $10 to IRL Rosie one time, because I thought, hey, she collaborated with Trilogy Media, and I love Trilogy Media, so I want to give her some positive feedback. Send her $10 one time, she didn't even fucking say a damn thing about that. She just, they just scrolled on up without ending a knowledge, but she sure acknowledged all the other $2 donations she had. I'm like, really? You can tell this one's a diehard fan because I've seen her in many trilogy video videos when they were in Hawaii and all, and all that. It says, need to watch this again. I still can't get how former squad members could turn just like that and start talking crap behind trilogy media's back about how they want support, supporters and we're, and we're the dumb ones. I just want to point out that I've seen this certain person on Trilogy Media's face, uh, fan page for a very long time because she lives, because she has that lot of money to where she lives in Hawaii, has a good paying job teaching kids and like that, and supports Trilogy Media and all that. And it's just like really, the only, I'm not saying that every Trilogy Media squad member is dumb, and I'm not saying Trilogy Media are awful people. I think they're creative content. I just think some of their stuff, they get too excited about stuff, which I do the same exact thing. I just think some people are dumb because, especially the Trilogy Media squad members, because I think some of them are dumb because they want to give thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to a YouTube channel who already has money to begin with, but I make a video saying, hey, my dad needs a, needs an electric scooter because he has multiple sclerosis in his walk and well, he can't even walk anymore without going the, without falling down and all that. All it gets like, oh, well, I don't got any money, but I'll definitely send you some good vibes and prayers. Or when I was struggling with mental health issues and financial problems a while back and dirt right before the COVID, I'm like, hey, I need some help because I don't got a job. Nobody will hire me. I'm living off $90 a month and all that. Hey, since you're... Get plenty of money to Trilogy Media. Can you swing? I didn't say, can you swing me a few bucks? Can I send, um, post my PayPal or whatever? They're like, well, it's not Trilogy Media related. It is something you can't post, but I'll definitely keep you in my prayers and I'll definitely be sending you some good vibes. Yeah, like that's going to help my mental and financial problems. I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. This one's another funny one. It says, this goes along with the book I'm currently reading. People I like to punch in the throat. Perfect combo. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, if you punch me in the throat, I'm sure as hell punch you in the throat right back. I don't take threats lightly. If you even 
threaten me, I'm gonna punch you as soon as the second you punch me. That's just how I am, but don't care who you are. You gotta punch me in the foot, I'm gonna punch you right the fuck back. You may kick my ass, you may beat the shit out of me, but I'm gonna stand up for myself and fight back because that's how I was raised. I'm gonna stop reading this one at the first sentence because it's pretty down. It says, for all the people who seem to, pro to protect Preds, I really don't understand their way of thinking. The haters sure never were raped in their childhood. Again, that's not entirely completely true. I have a close family member who was sexually abused as a child and they despise these catching predator videos. They are not even, they are not a fan of these. They do not like these. They agree with me saying they need to be professional. There is a professional way to do it. You just not gotta be a fucking asshole. Wow, I cannot believe anyone could accuse you guys of being scammers. Oh, and you should have treated that scumbag pedo nicer. Wow, I have no idea people could think this way. I'm disgusted by the remarks they made. Well, I, th I think anyone who watches and supports your channel are the best. They appreciate you and I respect everything Trilogy Media does. I actually do have a fair point about how I may believe Trilogy Media may be scumped because back in 2019, they made a, a Kickstarter about how they're going to release a series called The Cheat. They wanted like $5,000, and they got over $10,000, and four years later, four and a half years later, not a single episode has been made, not even a damn pilot. I didn't donate to that, but if I did, I'm like, hey, um, where's the episode? Either make the episode or give back my fucking money, because I know there's some people who donated thousands of dollars, and they have not made a single episode of whatever that cheat, episode, cheat series is. They made one little sneak peek thing and that was it. Not even an episode, not even trailers, not even nothing, not even a fucking pilot episode. So I would throw suspicions out there. I'm like, either make the episode or give me back my $4,000 I just send you. All right, this one's the last one and it makes me laugh out loud. What a hypocritical douchebag this wild boy is. LMAO, long live trilogy. Damn, you said that shit like it hurts my fucking feelings and it really doesn't, you dumb bitch. That's all I got to fucking say because that makes me laugh. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to make one more remark saying this is probably going to be the last time I mention anything about Trilogy Media, whether it be a video, rather be comments, rather be responding to the fan base and stuff like that. Because it's unfair to where I give, cons where somebody gives constru to constructive criticism to somebody who's doing very something unfair or doing something very unprofessionally and they have their fan base attack you, whether it be on their personal Facebook or Instagram or stuff like that, saying how you're in the wrong, you have no idea what you're talking about, um, you're wrong, you don't know and all that shit. And people laugh at you when you get when they get called out or given actual unfair criticism. And yes, there have been times where I popped off or said, you know, fuck Trilogy Media or fuck the squad and stuff like this. But it's kind of getting annoying. So, this is the last video I'm going to be making on Trilogy Media. This is the last time I'm going to say anything about Trilogy Media, whether they be comments and stuff like this. Like I said, I'm disabling the video. Not the same as the video. I'm disabling the comments, turning off the like-dislike ratio. And at this point, I was joking about the season this is. I much don't recommend nobody using this video. What, what are you going to do? Um, but, yeah, this is probably the last time I'm going to make it. Yeah, I know I'm pop popping up as an a-hole at first, but, you know, it's kind of ridiculous to where I can't defend myself without getting thousands of emails. I can't. It's, I'm tired of staying silent, but this is the last time I'm saying any, I'm making anything trilogy media related. Yes, I was a supporter for years. Yes, I went row. Yes, I think their video of Trish and Predators are probably the worst things I've seen on YouTube. And to this day, probably 10 years from now, I still believe that they have the most toxic fan base on YouTube. Just my opinion. And if you get hurt by this video, if our trilogy media squad fan member gets hurt, I really don't give a shit. Um... So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate it a thumbs up. Check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. And this is the end of the Trilogy Media Hate Slogan. Thank you guys. Take care.